Hello, just wanted to do a video today on our 2018 upgrade to our data web. It's available at www.alcanada.com from the quick links menu. You can choose ANL Data Web 2018. We are still running the existing data web in parallel, but we encourage people to try out the new uh, 2018 version. So if you click on that, your existing username and password will work to log in to the new version of the data web. When you log in, you'll uh, be brought to a dashboard screen. This screen just has a few uh, snippets of information, your number of reports, number of submissions. We have a local weather uh, app here. We'll be adding more features to this dashboard screen in the future. So stay tuned for those. It also lists uh, your last 10 reports released, which you can select and print right from this dashboard. We also have an overview tab now that uh, lists all reports and submissions in the system by year. It's like sort of a tree format here. And you'll see like growers and farms and if they have fields underneath there as well. So from here you can view that report right from the overview tab. You can also view submissions right from the overview tab as well. You can view the submission. You can edit it if it needs to be edited. And you can also resubmit the uh, submission from here. So this is just basically an overview of the system. So we'll be doing some more in-depth videos on the different modules, but this, this just gives you a brief overview. For the submission area, we've revamped this to now, you basically, you're instead of the uh, wizard sort of one screen to the next, everything's on one screen now. We can select the grower or create a grower, same with farm and field. We can manually create sample IDs and the test packages. We can batch create depth samples, for example, if we have two samples with two depths. We can create them here. like so. So now we have all this, these samples there that I just created. You can create or ask for uh, submit recommendations as well. The new feature we've added also to the submission module is a queue feature. So we can add it to queue, which allows the user to submit the sample in a queue so you can submit and print these later. So in the off season, if you want to create numerous submission forms, you can come and do all that, add it to your queue, and then when you're actually ready to submit the submissions, you can come into here, submission queue, and you'll see a list of all the submissions you've created, but they haven't actually been submitted yet. So they'll be all listed here. When you're ready to actually submit them, you can come in here and submit it and print out your submission form. Reporting tab is very similar to the current data web. You can search for reports from number of days back, date range, report, all that sort of thing. The new feature that we've added is the ability to print the original ANL report. So if you have a custom report with the lab, with your logo and layout, you will now see that on the data web. You can make changes to uh, recommendations, um, grower name, that sort of thing. It's still printed on the original ANL report. And you have all the other options that you had on the current system with being able to change grower names, sample IDs, viewing your results exporting 
and a new feature we've added is to resubmit that. So if you wanted to resubmit the samples for this field, you can do that right from this screen. So that's just a basic overview of our new data web. We encourage you to use it, send us your feedback. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you.